blame gluten for gluten law. So the question today is, what do you do if you have your identity stolen or a computer stolen um, or other personal property stolen? And the reason that this question comes about is yesterday I was in San Francisco near Haight-Ashbury and uh, I had a rental car parked um, and I had popped out with my family to take a quick picture and in the back of the locked rental car we had our luggage because we were on our way to the airport and uh, somebody smashed the rear window in and took a couple of bags that we had sitting by uh, the nearest to the end of the trunk. And one of the bags that was taken was my backpack that had my uh, MacBook Air and my wallet with um, my personal credit cards, debit cards, uh, vaccination card, and a driver's license. Um, uh, in the other bag was another computer and um, several other identifying documents. So, um, Obviously, after attempting to notify the police um, unsuccessfully and trying to flag down police who said that this type of thing is common for San Francisco and there's nothing that they could do about it, I realized that it was going to 100% be on me to make sure that I took the steps that were necessary in, in order to uh, prevent a bad situation from getting worse. So luckily I still had my phone um, and the first thing that I did was I was able to lock down every credit card and debit card that I had before any um, unauthorized transactions were made. The next thing that I did was, um, since I have an iPhone, you're able to pull up uh, within the Find My Phone app and um, I was able to um, remote erase my computer. And it still shows even today, a day later, as erase pending, which means that um, the person who took the uh, computer hasn't opened it and turned it on, otherwise it would be uh, wiped away. Um, so in a sense, that's both good and bad. I mean, the good news is they haven't turned on the computer and attempted to use it, but the bad news is uh, the wipe is still pending and um, I'm never going to see the computer again. So um, we did the same steps for the other computer and uh, so what we're left with is how do we mitigate or minimize some of the damage for um, the other credit cards and now that they have my uh, photo identification. So uh, the next thing that I did was I logged on to the three major uh, credit reporting agencies, Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax, and I did an, a, a freeze on all my credit. So um, for whatever that's worth, hopefully if it prevents them from attempting to uh, open up a line of credit or uh, use my identification to um, do a uh, some sort of credit line inquiry that that will freeze and uh, they'll be notified that there's a freeze on there. Um, today I went to the DMV and was luckily able in my small town in Oregon to um, get my new ID. On the bright side I had to get a real ID which is going to be necessary for travel in the future so I was going to have to do that anyway. Um, stuff is stuff and stuff can be replaced. Luckily, nobody was injured. Um, there are lessons to take away. Um, I'll, I won't be parking in any area in San Francisco with anything visible ever, ever again. And, you know, I'm learning a lot about, I mean, I, I've lived in major cities before. I, I guess I just have been lucky so far that I've never had anything broken into and taken. Um, I know it's fairly common that um, if you live long enough and you've lived in a big city long enough, you're going to have your stuff taken. Um, so, you know, we just have to keep moving forward and uh, not let it get to us and um, realize that stuff is just stuff and take the actions necessary to protect our accounts so that we can minimize and mitigate the further damage. Um, this is just general information. This isn't really legal advice, I suppose, because... Um, the only other steps that I've really taken was I filed a police report so that I could attempt to uh, recover some of the lost uh, property as far as any insurance coverage that I had. And I have multiple types of insurance that um, might be able to cover this loss, um, including uh, potentially credit card insurance, which could cover the damage to the rear window of the rental car. But all of these things are just up in the air about whether um, and what coverages are actually going to end up 
uh, paying out or covering any of those losses. Honestly, I just assume that uh, the $4,000 that I had in personal property loss is just going to be a loss and I'm just going to chalk it up to a learning experience and um, where not to park in the future, I suppose. Um, so if you have further questions about um, avoiding um, identity theft or minimizing identity theft, I would talk to an attorney or maybe a financial advisor um, could also give you some good ways and tips for uh, avoiding having any of the major pitfalls if you have been a victim of identity theft. This is Blaine Cluton for Cluton Law. Thank you.